Oh, man. Look at that, Noel. Your man is standing there, sword on the back with the... Okay, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna get him wet. You're gonna get him wet. Okay, I see I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Noel. Okay, using the magic. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi, and I'm back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch. Man, we got Path, episode 29 of Black Clover. I hope y'all had a great day, because my day at work sucked. <laughs> So without further ado, I heard this was a little filler, so don't really expect too much if nothing really happens. I'm I'm pretty sure they're going home or something, right? They're about to see like the father and the sister or whatever. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. My man Pinocchio just getting burned up to a crisp. Oh wow, so this is this is the new way of their Ninginwa. I don't know the rest of it, I'm sorry. I'm kind of okay with this, to be honest. This is like the monster that, like, the original Wizard King... That guy! Yo. I'm trying to see what he looks like. Oh, wow! Yo, he's got some crazy spatial magic, I think. Like, how'd he get there that quick? Yo. <laughs> Yo, that spell binding circle. Yo, tell me my man got the spirit bomb of the grimoire. Okay, this is this is a sick way to open it. Ooh, get wrecked. That's a big ass sword. That was the illest way to open the show. Oh my god. And they still hit me with the Ningenwa. Wow. And we did get to see him. He does kind of look a little bit like you know, but he has a very keen way that reminds me of Asta. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. All I'm saying is that John was hype. See, I'm, I'm okay with this. Even though this is a filler, apparently, they at least give us something all new. Well, you know, what other shows you know that does this? They normally just hop into it or whatever crap episode they're about to freaking give to us. This is really good. This is like low-key backstory-ish, kind of recapping what black clover and how the kingdom works and all that stuff is all about good stuff to black clover fans well the production crew i know i say fans but good stuff to the fans too man we supporting out here that's, that's we we take part in the success in black clover am i right and this song is still not as good as this one Of course, my man Asta grinding. Of course, he's grinding. Oh, look at, look at my, look how shredded he is. You think he just got that, that jump for free? He not working? Even on his off days, he's working. Look, he's hacking and slashing them. Come on now. My man's cut. <laughs> Always got to have the female in mind, yo. Oh my, ew. Get, get, get someone get this man a tissue, please. That was like some of the nasty. What's up with anime nowadays, man? They got their their boogers in HD too. Ugh. Oh 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 man! Uh, in front of Santa Claus or Dumbledore or whatever. Ooh, I like how they do their like their backtracks. Like this is a scene that they that happened already, and it looks like it's a movie. Like just the way that they cropped it. Wow. Black Clover on some next level stuff, yo. Where y'all at? Where's the Black Clover support, yo? This is probably one of the next... No, not probably. It is one of the next best and greatest anime out to this day right now. This joke looks like a freaking movie! They're freaking taking a scene that already happened in, in like one of the first few episodes, and they're literally making me think, wow, is this a movie? Are they trying to like advertise for an upcoming movie? Maho te tinaru. <laughs> and see, and this is this is this is what I mean. You know it's a filler. They they they're doing a lot of backtrack. They're doing a lot of recap. You know it's gonna be filler. And they're still making the filler quality. My man still drinking the green juice, freaking spinach probably made from my man Popeye. Looking cut and then getting the look at what this looks like. It's a movie. This looks like a movie. Are, am I playing a game? Are we playing? I don't even know. Let me relive this in extra HD 4K. 47. K out here. Busted. I feel like I just paid eleven fifty, and I'm I'm I should have some a Slurpee and some popcorn watching this, John. This is freaking beautiful. Uh, uh, 
I'm totally okay with this filler so far. It's entertaining. Okay, this is the creepy JoJo's looking ass dude. What? This dude got a diary about Asta? I mean, I, I, I understand that this is, you know, for like, you know, recapping purposes, but this guy can't get a break, man. This is, he, he, they're really living up to the creep part of him. Hey, my man, Fuego Leon. <laughs> Yo, I legit totally forgot he fought Seke. How did I, how did I not remember my man? <laughs> how, did, how did I forget that? I feel very disappointed and angry at myself that I literally forgot about one of the greatest created characters of all time that got bodied by my man Asta, one swing. How could I forget? You know why I forgot? It's probably because how could I ever imagine my dude Seke getting wiped like that? But hey, man, to my man Asta, hey, sometimes you gotta take the L, all right? And if Seke was the sacrifice at this point, that's fine. You gotta put Asta over, you know what I'm saying? If you're talking like wrestling terms, haha. <laughs> Yo, this aura was crazy. I remember this part too. Yup, I remember when you know was getting hella praise and everybody wanted him on his squad. He thinks because you know is Asta's best friend, that makes him you know's best friend as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how you not think that's funny, man? My man trains when he cleans. Everything is serious. <laughs> Appropriate nosebleed. Not like the other freaking guy with his little sister, okay? Another one. <laughs> Hanging out naked is really great. And look at the smile on this guy. People, I want you to know that he does not make me feel any type of comfortable. I'm just letting you know. Oh my god, I forgot about that, John. Yo, the bird is pouring her some juice? Man, let me get a bird like can do that, John. That's great. You know, how, you know how nifty that is? If I give up, who's gonna protect him? That was a great line that Asta had. Damn, she drank the hell out of that. Yeah, she's hella into him. Oh my god, dude, this part, this was so good. I actually specifically remember this from the manga, and I was looking so forward to watching it animated, and here we go. Oh, oh yeah, he got stabbed, coughed up blood, scared all of us. Yep, yep, I remember this. See, episodes like this are definitely good for people like me because, like, it, it could be, like, weeks and weeks and months and months and, like, I, yeah, I might have watched it one time, but uh, you think I remember? Mama, mama. Oh, and then this was, this right here, this is new bae. This is the John from the other day. And she specifically said she wasn't going to give up on him even though his heart belongs to somebody else. Oh, man. Look at that, Noel. Your man is standing there, sword on the back with the... Okay, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna get him wet. You're gonna get him wet. Okay, I see I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Noel. Okay, you're using the magic. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. My man had the shirt off, freaking abs ripped, chest ripped, arms ripped. You know what I'm saying? It's a <laughs> hey, it's okay. <laughs> I love how you know just rides that John like a sedan, skateboard, hoverboard, whatever you want to call it. The one theme I will always love and appreciate from this show is the fact that even though Yuno is a naturally born gifted genius, he doesn't overlook Asta and he don't ever sleep on him. And he always thinks back on their rivalry and their friendship and uses that as a source of freaking power to get stronger and to fulfill his own dream and, you know, all that uh, about to become the Wizard King. Amazing, amazing, Sue freaking Goy. That's what we call it out here. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, I'll tell you what, for a filler episode, that was a really good filler episode. I mean, it wasn't just some crap. They literally just recap, resummed, and reminded us about everything that happened with a little bit of extra salt and flavors. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta stop right there because this is my song right here. The, the, the new ending is godlike. All right, hold up. Please hold. Oh my god, I need this. I need this track, please. 
please, please, somebody send me this John, please. So yeah, I love Black Clover. At this point, if you don't, well, you need a hug or something. All right, Petite Clover, yo, we got one more chance to see Seke. Oh, please, please, please. Mm, nah, probably not gonna see him. Especially just by looking at this. He is literally trying to be like, you know. <laughs> wow. Klaus is hella creepy. Alright. Let's see. Oh! Let's see, he's gonna play with Rebecca's younger sister. Okay. Oh, not this guy. Oh, wait a second. That town looks familiar. I think we're heading into some really, really good territory next episode, guys. Stay tuned. And with that being said, let me know you guys thought about this week's episode of Black Clover in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know you guys thought about it in the Discord, especially on my Discord. Make sure to follow me on Twitch so you can talk to me while I play some games. And if you're supporting the boys, supporting the dream, and supporting the Black Clover, support your mans on the Patreon page. And I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my other stuff. I do plenty more reactions to and other fun videos. Subscribe as always, and please check out my Patreon page. And I'll see you guys in the next video.